guys, it's Heather from Fit Aspire, and I'm back with another video answering your questions on bikini competitions. So this week's question comes from Amy, and uh, two, a little bit of two questions. So we'll start with the first one, and uh, she was asking around a coach. So do you really need a coach to train for a bikini competition? Um, so I'm going to answer this yes, actually. If this is your first competition, I would highly recommend that you have a very well-qualified trainer who is very experienced in training athletes specifically for what you're competing in. So whether that is bikini or figure or fitness or whatever division that you've decided, I would recommend that you have a coach for that. And there's a couple of reasons that I would say this. Um, there's a lot of people who um, don't go around prep in the, in the healthiest way. So my perspective on this is this should be like any other sport. There's a healthy way to do it. Um, it should not be extreme dieting. You should not be eating zero carbs. Um, you, you should not be doing things that are going to hurt your body. This should be a way for you to um, get your body into peak shape and, and kind of enjoy that part of it. Um, but you want it to be a healthy process. And I think that that is a very tricky thing to do on your own um, if this isn't something that you're experienced in. Um, and there's also a lot of really, I guess, weird things that happen right towards the, the end. Um, to really help you get in that perfect condition. Um, I try to explain to people that the way you look on show day is different than even the day before or the day after, and it's all around making sure that you're kind of ready for looking your best on stage. So um, for that reason, I would highly recommend that anyone has a coach. Um, so the second part of her question was really around overall cost for competitions. I'm gonna say it just flat out, if this is not a cheap sport. Somehow I always pick expensive sports. Um, triathlon, um, for those of you who are coming from the endurance side, is not a cheap sport, and this is probably around that area. Um, you might be able to make a case that it's a little bit cheaper, actually, than triathlon, but definitely more than something like running um, might be. So I wrote a little checklist. I know you guys can't see this, but just to give you um, a little bit of a breakdown. So not counting any of the nutrition um, or training, just the sheer cost of what you need to compete. Um, the license, uh, depending on which federation, NPC, WBFF, or another federation that you compete in, you're going to have to buy a yearly license for that. That ranges from about $100 to $120. Then we've got the registration fee itself. Um, you actually pay by division that you want to compete in. So this year I'm in the 35 and up division for the first time. So I will probably end up buying two um, registrations, one for the um, 35 and up and one for the open division. And that will run um, $100 to $200 depending on your show. Um, shoes, you guys have seen those crazy high shoes. Um, and the specifications about what those are depends again on your division or your federation. And those um, on the cheap end are about $40. Jewelry, you're gonna get some really, really blingy costume jewelry. Um, and you can do that in the, on the lower end for about $40. I think that's what I've spent on mine that I've used for a couple of shows. Uh, the bikini, you guys have seen the, the bikinis. It's not just one you get off the shelf anywhere. They're very uh, specifically made, particularly the bottoms. Um, that's why your butt looks so great, honestly, is they kind of have a, a bit of a, uh, like, rocheting, or it's like pulled together um, right up the, the center of your butt to give it a great shape. So, um, and there's a level of, I guess I'm calling it blinging, that depending on your federation. WBFF, you're going to make it completely blinged out, like lots of stones on it to really make it shine on stage. NPC, uh, maybe not so much. Um, so those bikinis are typically in the range of $150 and up. I've, I've heard some pretty crazy prices that girls have paid for bikinis. Um, if you're in WBFF, you're probably going to have a dress or theme wear if you're competing in bikini or fitness. Um, so my dress, including alterations and stuff last year, I think was actually on the lower end and that was around $200. Um, then you've got tanning for the day of the show. That's usually around another 100 and makeup um, for about another hundred. So all in, so again, this is really just getting you ready to go on that, that day. Uh, that's a range from about 630 to $950 is what you're looking at. So not a cheap sport. Put it in a little bit of perspective though. Um, I know for an Ironman, for example, you're gonna be paying anywhere from 600 to $800 for registration. And that doesn't include your bike and all of your other gear. So. It is a little bit cheaper than that, so at least there, 
there is that to it, but I do think it's important to know kind of what you're getting yourself into and making sure that this fits in your budget. Because again, um, I think this should be part of just a, a healthy life and, and making this something that you enjoy um, because it's fun. So knowing how much you're going to need to budget aside for it makes that a little bit easier. So I hope that helps. I um, hope you guys are enjoying these questions. Got a couple of these planned for at least the next couple of weeks. Um, I think running through about the end of May right now, but I'd love to hear your questions and make sure I can answer those too. So feel free to shoot me an email or leave your um, question in the comments below. And I'll be back uh, next week with the next video. Thanks.